right, Xena, we're her princess. Welcome back to planning. This is an Erin Condren wellness planner, and we're going to dive into it and see what I figured out. For those that just watched my last video, I did talk about those paper clips that I'd found in the cupboard with some other stuff. I put them in my purple box. That's a word you couldn't see in the fire pot, but anyway. Um, I put the small ones down here and then the bigger ones I just put in the elastic thing. It's perfect, perfect place for them for now. And like things will um, evolve over time, but for now, that's where, where it's going. Okay. So we can put this aside because I've already done the work. There will be other sessions um, where we will plan together. Like I'll show you how I'm doing whatever I'm doing and my thought process as we do it. But this is where we're going to start for today. So what I'm going to do is bring the video in closer and see if we can... Way too close, right? But let's see. Where's a good spot? Maybe, maybe there so you can see better. Okay, so the, what I did first of all was just kind of look at the thing. Now I recommend you really take the time to look at, because they're all a little different, and to look at what's there and start to think about what you wanna do with it and think first before you start doing things. Because I, th I did, I reviewed it, I thought I had a plan, and then as soon as I dove in, I screwed it up straight away. So don't be afraid to use whiteout tape or stickers over things. We'll talk about some of the things I did, but yeah. So figure it out, but look, not just glance, like really digest what's there. Because in this case, it has, you know, it's monthly and then weekly. And so you have, you know, like your pages for the weeks of the month and it's undated. So that's great, but you can, um, there's five weeks in each section. So, but not every month has five weeks, right? And some weeks overlap between months. So it's, it's imperfect, but it's, it's perfectly imperfect because it gives you those times. So you have to choose, are you going to say like, say that one month has four and the next one or whatever. So you have a blank week. You can either pull the next month's first week into that week and let the month tab fall where it may, which is what I ended up doing after I screwed it up. Um, but, but, or you can keep it as a pure month, month, month section and just leave those weeks blank or decorate them something else in between your months or weeks. I chose, I don't like to waste. So I wanted to maximize the weeks available. So I just let the months fall where they fall and then the weeks kind of get ahead of the months. You'll see, but all right. Then what I did in the back, there are four pages of just notes, like blank pages. Looks like, hold on. Looks like this. So just blank pages. This is washi tape that I added and we'll talk about that. But they're just blank pages. So I decided to start a log of lessons learned and I put a sticker that just says, note to self, note to self. Um, yeah, so lessons learned. So we've already hit on a couple of them and we'll just run through this and then I'll show you as we go what we did with the binder. Start the weeks the same day as the day of the week. This is a factor for me because part of my initial error um, when you look at the journal, you have, well, let's look at one that's blank first. Hold on, sorry. Okay, so you have a week. This is next month. Obviously, I just got this and I'm starting this week. Starting today, as a matter of fact. Um, so, again, I added the washi tape and the tabs because it's not tabbed at all. And it just looks like this otherwise. I put the dates. You can see my white out because I already screwed it up once. September 6th to 12th. So if that was the dates and it's not numbered, I numbered it down the side. But look at what I did. Because my weeks in my world start on Sunday. So I, I started the numbering with that. And so by the time I got to the end, I was like, oh, crap. These, you know, Monday's at the top. So then I went back and added numbers to help me not screw it up. I think once you get started, the habit patterns will sort themselves out. You know, it's just that initial starting. So the six is always at the bottom because Sunday and then, does that make sense? So again, look first, digest, plan, and then start writing. But I didn't want to go back and actually, because I'm starting today and today's a Monday, to me, it actually makes sense to start that way and I just backlogged yesterday. Anyway, you'll see. So that was one thing. Let's go back to the lessons learned. So the next thing, 
um, big to small, month to week to day. Yeah, go ahead and put your if you're going to use monthly tabs, put your put your tabs in first and get it get a handle for okay. There's five weeks in each month, then go into the daily stuff. So again, big to small will help you make less errors for yourself, even if you didn't digest it all up front. Um, also, depending on what kind of pens you're using, um, use a spacer between pages when you're writing. And the reason I say that is, going back to the first one, so I wrote the dates here, and then I flipped the page to write the next, you know, next date in the same, it's in the same place. So when I wrote here, the fresh ink from the previous page, which wasn't like goopy or blotty or anything, but when I wrote there, it kind of bleeds over onto here just because of the pressure onto the wet ink. Um, so rather than having, you can kind of see on here a little bit of a shadow. See that? That's not bleed through, it's bleed through from the other side, but it's bleed through from this being written on. So what I did to solve that on the first page before I figured out the problem, I just put a sticker over it. <laughs> So this is the only weekly page right now that has like a sticker like that. So um, that was just covering the shadow, the bleed through. So what I did after is you write on this page, you put the spacer page in there, just a scratch paper. Then you write on the next page with that spacer between, and then you move the spacer forward and do the same. So it will prevent it from shadowing. So you got that. Also talking about bleed through, some pens, I and mean, this is just a ballpoint pen, so it's not really a big problem. But some pens are very dark. Like if you're using felt tip pens, make sure you have one that's not gonna bleed through. Otherwise you're gonna have shadowing on the backside of all of your pages. And that to me, then you gotta do stickers. So which leads me to the next lesson learned. If you make a mistake or if you find something that is not gonna work for you like that, um, don't be afraid to, to change it, make the correction because otherwise you're gonna have layers of adaptations that you're gonna have to keep doing as you go forward. Um, I'd rather keep it, I just want to keep it simple. I don't want to have to cover up mistakes and then cover the cover and then cover the cover cover. You know, it's, it, it's sort of, it's like telling a lie, you know, it just spirals. Don't, don't worry about it. Fix it. I highly recommend that. That's my early lesson learned. Um, okay. Placing, spacing, and positioning of tabs. Um, I'm really anal retentive. So I like, I like it to be evenly spaced. I like the same distance hanging out. Yeah. I did not do that well. Um, and you can see for yourself how imperfect I did. I had a plan, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't execute it that greatly because there was no, there's no marks on the pages. There's no, it was difficult to set up. I have an idea for next time I will measure and I will put little light pencil marks on the pages and then I can put the tabs on. Um, yeah, so they're they're not even in distance or spacing. Yeah, okay, lesson learned. I will do better next time. That's not, oh, and by the way, these tabs are Erin Condren. They have black ones with like a metallic embossed or they have these colorful ones. I like the colorful ones, just kind of change it up and, and it just makes sense for me, colorful. Um, but once you stick them, this is one of those ones that's not forgiving. You stick that on that page, it's stuck on there. And so I couldn't, after I did the first one, I couldn't move anything. So I was like, well, I'll just try and do better with each tab. And I, I did kind of figure out a way to get them semi-spaced, but the lateral part is also a problem. All right. Uh, yeah, so pencil marks I think will help. And then, yeah. Uh, write the date next to the day. Yeah, I did that. Washi tape. Washi tape is cool. I didn't understand uh, washi tape or understand how I was going to use it. I thought I would just start giving it a try. It is actually very easy to work with. It's very forgiving. Like you're like, oh, I stuck it there. Oh, I don't like it. Just pick it up and move it. It's great. But once it's stuck, it's stuck pretty well, actually. So it's great. And it it's very thin, so you can use it a lot. Like I used it on almost every page. And so it, if you like slide your hand across here, there's a slight thickness change right at that washi tape stripe, um, but it's not bulking out the notebook. You know, you can kind of see it right there. It's just slightly thicker, not a big deal. And that's only because it's in the same exact place, page after page. 
and also the tabs are in that stripe so yeah um, but it's very easy to work with and what I did with it was I on each of the monthly tabs I put some other side sticker here this one has two this is my starting page we'll talk about this some more but this is just a sticker off one of those pages that you sticker and so is this and this one has words this one says create be brave motivate be you inspire be strong and then it repeats um, and it's a color shift with a metallic thing um, but this is it's all about motivating yourself and whatnot so I tried to incorporate some things like that which we'll talk about so on each of the month tabs I have something like that on the one side so as you change to each new month there's a different one and I actually ran out of those ones so I switched to just using the sticker ones and I tried once I got halfway through again planning ahead then I started to kind of color coordinate so you know the blue and then the green and whatever and so then I went back and added the washi tapes for the weekly pages so at a glance I can kind of tell even without the tabs or if the tab fell out I'm not gonna replace it but you can kind of flip through and see the colors of washi tapes for each month so for August I have this like August tab was yellow I didn't have yellow I do coming but I didn't want to wait so I just did this light orange checker and then September was a purple tab so I did a purple wavy and I just tried to mix up the shapes as well so they look different and yeah just make it fun you know and then October was orange so I did a different orange with the dots and then November is like a blue green one and I didn't have one to perfectly match so I just did this blue December was green again so I did another green but a different one so there's one green oh I guess I haven't done green yet sorry but you can see the two oranges stand out from each other let me try and put them side by side by side you can kind of see all the colors pop out on the pages let's just make it fun um, I'm not a really big green fan but <laughs> and then there's another blue one again a different pattern and then we got to the notes page which is the last and the month ended so these are just the note page ones and on the note page to make them stand out a little bit more I went all the way end to end on the page rather than stopping like I did on all the other ones I stopped at the lines of the calendar I stopped here and here so that you can see even on the side those note pages they stick out because they go all the way to the edge that makes sense so that's what I did now let's talk details of some more things on the inside um, let me make sure I didn't miss anything oh some stickers don't stick as well as others and that can be a problem if you're using your pages and flipping things and moving your hand across it a lot it'll flick up I'm not sure the best answer for that maybe putting a clear tape over it or I mean you could do like a lamination thing but then you can't write on those pages or you can use a glue stick or some sticky double-sided tape or the tape dots a lot of solutions right now I'm just letting it be and hoping they stay stuck but some uh, maybe because they're older because like I said I pulled it out of stuff I've been collecting forever for me I'm using step and sleep tracker on my Fitbit I have the charge 3 Fitbit so which is charging right now um, and today I start a low carb low sugar basically a keto diet but on steroids so I'm doing that so that's where things are going to be tracked and discussed but that's also a perfect time to start a new um, planning planner thing is on the day you're starting a new thing so it's perfect perfect timing and it got here just in time on the weekend to prep um, the bottom line and I'm about to show you what I've done in mine but there is no wrong way to plan you do what works for you and get creative be funky if you screw it up or you decide you don't like it some of it you can rectify take it out change it up um, but but if you can't that's okay because it's just a page you know and, and it, it'll pass so just do it different next time and yeah so that's what I have to say about that my big big philosophy of planning um, all right so let's look at this so this is a wellness journal so it's all about um, you know just being healthy and whatever but it's kind of like food and workouts focused um, so this is the starter page this is also pretty much what the monthly pages look like essentially so on the top you have the date 
your clothing size, a bunch of measurements, and your starting weight. You have an open space, which in this case, I wanted to keep really simple. And I know I kind of over-decorated these two pages maybe, but I was just, I just kept adding to it. I'm like, eh, I'm gonna put that there. And oh, that's not symmetrical. I'm gonna add something else. So this is what it ended up with. <laughs> and these are a mix of all different brands of stickers and types of stickers. Um, yeah. So I have these covered because I filled them in and, and we're not gonna get that personal. Uh, but I have some goals, so I just wrote down eight things that I'm kind of going to focus on. Yeah, you need to be specific, but I, I have some other specifics to go in there. Um, yeah, and then I did put, I put two stickers up here. I, I put the, the red thing, and then I put a star on there um, to really make this page stand out because this is like the home page, if you will. Um, so. so that's fun. I just, and I put a, I put a little, another asterisk on top down here. Uh, yeah. It's fun, just because. Okay, so then you get into the monthly pages. So this week, starting today, you can see how the pages are. Now I already showed you my little blemish thing that I covered up. You've already seen the washi tape and the monthly tabs. Um, what I did wrong, and, and it's not wrong, I wouldn't do it that way again, so for me it's wrong, uh, was see how this August, the monthly tab is on the front end? So when I open it, yeah, if I flip that, it goes right to August. Well, in this case, it was the first page anyway. But lesson learned, I liked it better when I did it on the back page. So when you go to September, if you put it right on the front page, it, it just didn't work as well. Um, so for the rest of the month, September and August are that way. And the rest of the months, I can just grab the tab, put my finger right in front of it, and open to the month. So lesson learned. And I couldn't take them off. This is what I was talking about. I couldn't take them off to change it to the back page of that section. Anyway, hope you're understanding what I'm talking about. <laughs> so this way it opens. And this is what we're stuck with right now. Because Sunday was a wash, that was my last splurge day. And that's what it says. And it just has my numbers for the day. And then what I did for each month, not for August because that's the starting the home page. But for each month, I tried to keep it relatively simple. We talked about the monthly tab. We talked about the sticker on the side. I tried to do um, something uh, seasonal. Oh, sorry. This is seasonal, something motivational, and something physical. Now, you don't think going to a haunted house is physical, but it involves walking. And walking around in Arizona, like they're way out. So... A lot of walking, park far away, walk in, walk through the house, walking around, visiting, whatever. So that was my intent there. So something motivational, seasonal, and physical. And this one has a, a something up here. I can't remember if I put that on all the pages. Yeah, and I also put something motivational up here. So sort of double motivation. So there you go. That's what I did. And again, these are multiple different kinds of stickers, multiple different brands. And I'm just gonna do each month as they come. So I'm not gonna fill in the words until it's time. But I kind of thought, okay, you have your goals, so you can address more specifics from those main goals on the homepage. And accomplishments, yeah, you can say what went well, and then goal progress, you know, assessment. So I think more, it's gonna be like resetting goals, more finite specifics. Um, and then I'll probably use this like what, what I learned and what I'll do different, maybe. And then over here is just notes, maybe more of the touchy-feely, squishy stuff like, oh man, I'm really drained and this diet sucks or whatever. It doesn't have to be negative, but I think this will be kind of um, some of that other stuff. And of course, the measurements on top each month. So each month as you go through, there's my motivation times two. I've got my seasonal because it's October. And then go ride a bike. Yeah, that's fun. Oh, on each of them I also put drink water. Now I drink water like a fish. So that's not really something I needed reminding, but I had a sticker for it. So I put it in there. Yeah. It made sense to me. Um, November. So again, this is where we switch tapes. Unfortunately, because of where the tab is, it does interfere with it, but you know, it's not really a major detractor. Um, so you got your motivation, your motivation, I've got my season and go ice skating. Well, it's Arizona. Probably that will be roller skating, but I didn't have a roller skating sticker, so say la vie. 
Then we got to December, the tab was green, so I put the green sticker. And this one matches a little better, and the shape of it allowed me to align the sticker with the edge of the tab. So it does make it a little bit more aligned and discreet and, you know, whatever. So this one is my birthday. So December is my birthday, so I added a happy birthday and a little birthday thing with balloons and robots. But the theme otherwise stands. Motivation, motivation, seasonal. And then I just spread the seasonal a little bit on here because it's the best season. And then, you know, motivational. And this one isn't, or physical, I mean. Um, it doesn't say physical, and it doesn't like scream physical, but when you look at what it says, New Year's resolutions, life is your, no. This is your year to sparkle. So it's two different stickers that I put together. But New Year's resolutions, that to me is physical. That that will continue on with the trend. Um, and then the the next one, just January. So motivation, motivation, seasonal. It's very New Year's y. And then something physical, go fly a kite. And I actually have a kite, and I will actually go fly it. And I probably won't wait till January to do it. Um, and then the last one. February so I did add some extra embellishments on this just because it's February and it's kind of fun and I had lots and lots of hearts to play with but the theme still stands so you have your motivational your seasonal and the seasonal just sort of spreads out and then you have your physical and this physical again is not as obvious but it says worry less smile more and um, hopefully at that time the physical and the diet and everything has caught up and stabilized and everything so that'll be different but I just said, and my first emoji sticker. Yeah, so hearts in February. Yeah, so again, very simple. But what I was talking about with the months and weeks not aligning is like, for example, here's August, right? And there's our first day, our first week of August. You got your second week, your third week. And just looking at the dates here. So that's the 23rd to 29th. And this is a artificial partly because I started August in the second week. So that is part of the problem, but it, the problem will still happen regardless. So then it goes August 30th to September 5th. So even in a perfect scenario, a week is going to overlap months. It happens almost every month, right? So you're gonna have overlap. So in this case, I just left that there, not just because it was August, but then it goes on, right? Because there's still another week of space so I went ahead and kept September, even though we haven't gotten to the September tab until now, right? Because now we get to the next month, but we're already two weeks into September by the time you hit the tab physically. That's why the tabs are there though. So you want September, you go to September, but if you want the week you're on, you just go to the next week, right? And something I added to help that was just one of my old um, agenda bookmark things, which has holes poked in it because I used it in the binder. But these, if you just put it straight edge in, can mark your page also. So even if you don't stick it out, because it's the same, it's perfect height, um, it'll still mark the page, it'll still open pretty easily to that page to find it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do also. I also have magnetic clips and all that other stuff and stickers, and but, but this is just simple and I can move it day to day. All right, so back to what we were talking about. So you have September, this tab's on the wrong side. But then we go into the colors. So again, the weeks all just have the washi. So there's your five weeks of September. There's October, five weeks of October in orange. November, you get the idea. So just like that. So that is how I set up my planner. And I think it's, once you get it set up, now that it's set up, it's, it's very simple. I wanna log my stuff for today. So I'm gonna go in in August, I'm gonna fill in my measurements. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna write down everything I ate for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, which is nothing so far, so nothing logged. But if I have this with me, I can log it as I go. Otherwise, you know, put it on my phone and add it to the book later. Um, and I already put my sleep in from last night, a whopping four hours and 23 minutes. Yeah, I sleep terribly. But the score next to it, I put using my Fitbit sleep score, which isn't perfect, but it's something that will allow me to objectively gauge from one day to another because it tracks consistently. Like it may not be the perfect tracker, but it works, you know, so you can see relativity wise. Like the score I put, it might have said 69 as your sleep score on a scale of 100, you know, 100%. So I have 69. So I just on mine, instead of saying 69, I just put 6.9. So on a scale of 1 to 10, 
How well did I sleep? 6.9. And honestly, I would have subjectively assessed that way less, but sometimes that works. But that way I have an objective measurement. I, I have data that I can look back and see, oh, as my diet's improved and my fitness is improved, so has my sleep or not, because actually that's not gonna happen in my case because of why I'm not sleeping, but, but yeah, you know, and, and here on the steps, on this one I had um, the night before or the day before, on Saturday, 11,968 steps. That's a good day, that's where I should be. Uh, but yesterday I was really sore because I did a whole bunch of stuff and I wanted to rest, and so I did 45.56, so I put a sad face. Yeah, sad, I was pathetic, but not today. All right, anyway, so that's the planner. Planner can go in the box for now. Oops, I forgot to put my page marker back in there today. Okay, so that is where we're going. So be well, be happy, stay safe, stay healthy, don't forget to wash your hands, and I'll see you again soon, hopefully with some hauls coming. Take care. Bye for now.